hello everyone. It's real cold out here guys. Welcome to Cooking Totally with Sammy. It's real cold. It's like below zero with the windshield. But here I just came from the store. I decided to walk today. But um, guess what we're going to do today? We're going to make homemade beef chili beans. Because it's such a cold day, a nice beef chili bean will be real good to keep you warm in your house and you know I do make one of the bestest ones too everyone makes them all different oops I'm getting at the house I know you can't hardly see me because of the shade but everyone makes it different so I bought my own things and I'm gonna do it my way but I make a wonderful chili chili beef beans with with beef and beans and two types of different beans. So I should return in the kitchen at Cooking Totally with Sammy. Welcome to Cooking Totally with Sammy, guys. Happy New Year to everybody. Wishing you the very best for this New Year's. A lot of health, love, and prosperity. You know, and uh, also learn how to cook some good food like I cook, you know. And of course, I always do my little cocktail before I start cooking. And um, very soon, I'm also going to be um, putting, um, you know, doing some mixed drinks and stuff with alcohol. And um, you guys are going to enjoy it because I used to be a bartender a while back ago. So, I'm going to also show you those little tricks that I know how to do with my cocktails, guys. But we're, today, we're going to do chili. Chili. So, I'm going to show you all my ingredients. You know, I everyone does their chili different. I do it different. So, you know, and I hurry for everyone. Who does it because usually they all come out good but um, I use two type of beans and I use fresh beans from the bags so I use the red the red kidney beans whoops backwards <laughs> there I go red kidney beans from the bag and pinto beans as well you're gonna need your fresh garlic I'm gonna use the mild chili um, seasoning package, but that's just to give it a booster because I'm going to be using my own uh, seasoning. That's just to boost it up. You're going to need your tomatoes. You're going to need green peppers. Red peppers. You're going to need your uh, coriander powder. Coriander, I, I, all the names I always get it mixed up. No coriander powder. You're going to need your onion. We're going to be using baking, baking soda today. And I'm going to show you the trick why I'm going to use baking soda. You're going to also need your chili powder. Your black pepper. I'm also going to have the beef because I'm going to make beef broth. Another trick, I'm going to use thyme. Paprika, optional if you want, chopped onions dry, garlic powder, now why I'm using two garlic, you will see when you see the, with my steps, cumin, I also have a tomato soup, we're also going to add it on it, just to make it creamy, and we're going to use tomato paste to make it thickener. And I don't know if I'm missing anything else, but I think that's it, guys. So, should we start? And I will give you all the measurements and the tea, the tea, uh, you know, the teaspoons and how much we have to add. In. But also, guess what? Guess what we forgot? The main ingredient, the meat. We can't forget the meat now, the ground meat. And it's 85, it is 85 lean. So, it's, this is the perfect one to do because it's not too greasy. So, we could keep that little grease on it so the chili could come out delicious. We need that little extra grease on it, you know? And um, this is a three pound. So I will return at Cookie Tony with Sammy, step by step and the measurements. Salt as well, guys. We're gonna add the fresh beans. These are the bag beans and this is like a, a little bit more than a half a cup. Okay, so we're gonna add the red beans. I should cook them different because the red beans and the pinto beans 
cook differently. So we cannot put them together and cook them together because then you're going to have one hard one and one soft one. So we're going to cook them separately in a pressure cooker. So we're going to add that one, the red one in this pressure cooker, and we're going to add the pinto bean in this pressure cooker. So what we're going to do, we're going to rinse them out at least two times, throw the water out, and then we're going to boil them, we're going to add a little bit of salt, and then we're going to um, put them in the pressure cooker for at least 45 minutes. If it's not a pressure cooker and you don't have a pressure cooker, and you're doing it on the stove, then it's at least about two and a half hours until it becomes tender. If you don't have a, 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 if you don't like fresh beans, then use the canned beans as well. You know, they have, there are different types, you know, the can, uh, the, they got the black beans, they got the red beans, and they got the pinto beans. You can use whichever you want, it's, it's your choice. But I like to use my fresh, my fresh, um, beans because it should taste better, and it, and it has, um, contest, you know, it, it has, um, texture and stuff, you know? So, I uh, should return back with the following process. Like I told you, put it in water and boil it at least for 45 minutes until it, it's tender enough. And then you'll take it out. So, I uh, should return back in the following process at Cooking Toilet with Sammy. Water on the both pressure cookers. And we're going to add, and I add enough water. And we're also going to add olive oil. Just a splash of olive oil. That's for the beans that won't stick on the, on the, pot, on the bottom of the pot. On both, for like a little splash. And we're going to add half a spoon of salt, half a spoon of salt. Turn the fire on high and both of them. And we add the lid. Like I told you, if you don't have a pressure cooker, like you just use it on the stove. And for, for at least, this, it'll take you like two and a half hours before those beans get ready. That's why I love pressure cooker, guys. I recommend you to get yourself a pressure cooker. You cook faster. So now, uh, for 45 minutes at least, and, and then you open it, and we'll find out if it's tough enough. And if it's tough enough, then we'll use it. If not, we'll add, we'll add extra minutes on it. So I shall return back in the following process at cooking totally with Sammy, guys. Thanks. Okay, so now you're going to grab a bowl. Okay, and we're going to show you a little trick. Because you want your meat to be nice and moist. And also, when you when you're making your when you're cooking your meat, you want that brown color. You don't want that red color on it, or you know, you want it brown. So this is gonna make your meat to become nice, caramelized brown, and also um, moist. You know, it keeps the moisture in, and it will not be dry or very lean. So we're gonna add three tablespoons of water. One, two. And three. It seems very little, but trust me, this trick works. And two teaspoons of salt, right here. And three quarter of a of three quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. I have everything written down because you know I forget things. But um, this is what's gonna give it. And we we just use a whisker. I call it a whisker. Is it a cat whisker? We whisk it up like this. Seems very little, but this does the trick, guys. I learned this recipe and I heard about this three ingredients together, and it does miracles with your meat. Now we're going to add your meat. Okay. And your meat in there. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna, you know, blend it together, squeeze it in with that salt, baking powder, baking soda, and the water together. You're gonna mix it all together. But let it blend in all the way completely. Because this is a trick that I'm gonna show you guys. And once I have it all blend all everything together even. And the meat, we're going to put it aside and sit it for at least 20 minutes. And then we'll should return back and I will show you the following process and more things that I'm making. Okay guys? So, I'll come back at Cooking Totally with Sammy. So, Cooking Totally with Sammy, so now we're going to do the veggies. So, we're going to put, add a little bit of olive oil here to saute the veggies. We got the beans done. The red beans took uh, 30, uh, 
40 minutes and the pinto beans took 30 minutes. So it was a 10, a 10 minute difference. But they're done. As you see, I got them all mixed together. See? I'll mix together. So what we're gonna do is add a whole onion. Whole onion. Taste. I have I cut three cups of garlic and I did it with a knife because we want little little chunky, you know, little chunky garlic on it. That as well. Just by the onion. And the garlic smells wonderful already. And I know people usually doesn't add green peppers and red peppers on it. Some of them do, some don't, but I do. Like I said, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing my chili my way. At cooking Tony with Sammy. Do it my way. Like that song, I did it my way. I'm going to add the green, pep green peppers. So each is, is, each is one, one and one. One green pepper, one red pepper. And these are the Roman tomatoes. And I chopped them into little cubes. And there are three of them. Mix it all together. We're gonna put the fire a little higher. And we're gonna saute it for at least three minutes and I should return. Now we're gonna add the meat. Remember we let it sit for 20 minutes. So now we're gonna add the meat. And we'll just Right, the little cubes like this, you know, a little. We don't want to have it too um round. We want we want we want to have little chunkets, you know, little chunks. You know, we don't have it too brown. This is gonna come out so delicious. You guys are gonna lick your fingers. So, once it's fully cooked. I will show you the following process. Okay, so the meat, it's already cooked, it's nice and brown, and as you see it got the, on the brim, it got all that, that good caramel, caramelized season with the beef meat. And now we're gonna add two tablespoons of cumin. A tablespoon of paprika. I got everything down so I won't forget. One tablespoon of coronator powder. Two teaspoons of oregano. Two teaspoons of black pepper. Half a, half a teaspoon of thyme. This, this thyme is actually a secret that I wanted to put. I wanted to put a half a, a spoon of chili powder. One tablespoon of garlic. And remember I had the chopped onions um, flakes. We're going to add it in. Makes it um, taste even wonderful, even though we put onion, but it gives it a better taste. So we just do a little, like a little splash around it. And we mix. Oh my. 
my god, it smells delicious, guys. And we mix. So, now I'll come back with the following step. We also gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. You could use white or you could use brown. It doesn't matter. I get it out. There. And then we mix. It's gonna be super delicious. See how nice and brown this meat came out because of the baking powder that we act, we actually put in it. You want your your um chili to have like a brown color, not a pale one. I should return with the following step. Welcome back to cooking totally with Sammy. So now we're gonna put two and a half cup of beef broth. Mmm, it smells so delicious. Mmm, look at how nice and brown that chili looks, guys. And if you want to add more water to it, you can. So, now we're going to add a whole can of tomato soup. Make it more thick. I have such a mess in this kitchen. We're going to add two spoons of tomato paste. Two spoons of tomato paste. Make it more thicker. And we're going to add our beans. And we will mix it together. Oh, that looks amazing. Really looks amazing. Nice and thick. You get the stuff from the bottom. And let me get this bag out of here. We got that bag out of here. This is what you call a nice, wonderful chili. And we're going to cook it for at least less than a half hour. So it could become juicy. I say some of the, the broth from the beef, beef broth. So, just in case if I need any more, so it won't be so, if it becomes real thick, I could add it. And we're going to give it a taste, because I need to see if I'm okay with the salt. Because remember, we didn't add no salt. Oh, oh my God. Simply amazing. It's not too hot, it's not too spicy. You could add a little bit of more spices if you want. But I kind of like it like this. I don't like it too spicy. But I'm going to add a little bit of chili powder. You can. So I'm going to add just a little bit of chili powder. I need just a little pinch. The chili powder. I'll say about about a teaspoon. We don't want it too hot. This looks amazing, guys. This is what you call 
chili. I should make it more closer for you guys to see. This looks amazing. Look at how nice and juicy and thick it is. And I will show you my final plate, guys. So I should return back at Cooking Tori with Sammy. Guys, I finished it. Welcome to Cooking Tori with Sammy. And my chili came out amazing, guys. Look at this. Look at this. How amazing my chili came out. And it tastes so wonderful. I tasted it. Look at this. So nice and thick. You know, now that runny chili. And you know, this. I'm going to taste it. I want to taste it real bad. Mmm, let's taste it, right guys? Let's taste this chili bean. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I just said, mmm. One more. Oh. Oh. Mmm. 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 Some cracker. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing. Amazing. Mmm. Simple to do. And I don't be using that mixture package. I'm going to show it to you. I don't use none of that. I, I bought this because I wanted to do it. I said no. I'm going to make it with my own natural spices. I'm not going to use this. And that's exactly what I did. And it tastes out, it tastes even better than using this package. I recommend you to do it. With this, I'm going to continue on eating my chili, chili bean. And the meat tastes delicious. And with this, like I told you, I'm glad everyone had a nice, wonderful New Year. Happy New Year's to everyone. Many, many blessings, totally. And remember, keep looking at my channel, Cooking Totally with Sammy. With this, I always say no to negative and yes to positive. Peace and love, guys. Thanks for watching.